Well, we talked about in our last interview that before you guys signed Aftermath, you and Diddy were running around together. Right. You fast forward to 2024 and Diddy's in a whole a whole new world. Right. With the, the Cassie lawsuits, you know, saying that he blew up Kid Cudi's car. Uh, then the whole freak off situation and the gay rumors and the Meek Mills getting dragged into it and everything else like that. What are your thoughts on it as someone... Did you and Puff maintain a relationship over the years or not really? Um, I, st- I still got a relationship with Puff. Uh, whenever I talk to him, it's always going to be the same. He ain't never been nothing to me um, but a good person. Um, I've been around Puff millions, millions of times, and I ain't never seen you know none of the shit that people are talking about, but that's just my experience. I don't know what other people experience, if it's true, if it's not true, or whatever. I just know Puff always been, he always been good, a good, you know, a good mentor and a good big brother and somebody in hip hop that I looked up to for obvious reasons um, to me. So um, I, outside of the uh, Cassie situation, which, you know, I think they settled that, right? So he had that. Oh, he settled it quick. Right. So that means that he owned up to whatever it was that they had. Well, well. Just to be fair, I don't want to interrupt you, but settling doesn't mean you own up. I'm not saying anything. own up. I'm yeah. saying I'm saying he took the responsibility to settle something yeah. that was in the media that needed to be settled is what I'm saying. You know what I'm saying? So um, outside of that, all the extra shit, it just seems like, um, and again, I don't, I'm not saying that people who are accusing nobody ain't right or he ain't right or nothing. It's not my business. But if we're going to speak on it, I'm going to say that sometimes when black moguls reach a certain point um, in their career or their life, or they, let's say, go at it with, I don't know, their alcohol company or they're, uh, they're at odds with bigger corporations, this seems to happen. It happened with Kanye and Adidas. They try to tear you down. It seems like right after Diddy said he's parting ways with the Ciroc people, whatever, this shit came out. And I don't know if it has any connection. I'm just saying that, you know, 80 fucking years after Bill Cosby did the Cosby show, women are saying he put a motherfucking pill yeah. in they in they drink and then Cosby goes to jail. I'm just saying it seems like tear down black celebrities at a certain point uh, in their career is uh, is a trend. And so, again, I don't know what's true. I don't know what's false. But I know that my rapport with Diddy has always been 100. He's always been a, a good nigga to me. And uh, I don't, again, I'm just reading headlines like you. But I don't, yeah. I don't have anything to say uh, in any direction about that other than my personal interaction with a person that I saw to be, you know, a super good nigga. 